Hello and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Saiken and we're playing Impossible Iron Man Hardcore. The hardest uh, difficulty with only one safe game and no retries. Today it's time for planning uh, session. We are in Act 3 of the game and we have just encountered our enemy. Uh, pretty robotic and uh, technocratic uh, driven faction. Now, before we go up against them, of course, it's time for us to collect a couple of items. Uh, this time uh, we could get uh, an acid, acid grenade, super good for, um, uh, for armor reduction, a utility item, caustic rounds, as well as hazmat ceiling, which is a good armor mod, plus some intel. Our team will be the same B team that we've sent in into the other missions uh, over the time. We got two projected encounters and are ready to go. Let's dive into it. Moments later, we arrive at the scene. Confirmed sighting of contraband. Hostiles present. All right, time for some breaching. Last unit through the entrance gains plus one armor throughout the encounter, and that's great. I think we might want to start with torque and shelter, an axiom can take the extra um, armor. Let's see what we're up against. They seem to be indeed surprised. Got a bruiser. Got a cobra. And a necromancer. Well, that's not their typical... Their typical... Techno lovers. So, softening up the bruiser. Matter of fact, putting him down. And then continuing with the Cobra. Necromancer is definitely a dangerous target, but we only had 30% chance to hit him. percent to hit him that's good how about we're first of all hitting the cobra very nice that takes care about uh, the cobra and we're trying to pull the necromancer there we go well sucks being you buddy Well, that's more uh, robotic. Perfect. So we gotta be careful with a hostage taker here. One of the things that we can ta uh, do is we can actually move him via relocate. It's a pretty negative spot for him. We're doing fine. He's moved further back, and we might even shred him. Yep, perfect. The purifier is dangerous, specifically because fire in itself is it's pretty a uh, pretty negative uh, status effect. So I think we should take care of. Of him right away. I could detonate that shrapnel. Might as well use the plasma grenade. Okay, so that solved our problem uh, with uh, the purifier. And when it comes to the bomber. He does not even receive a turn. We'll get the bonus for the hostage. And we might want to overwatch. Anything that moves. 
Check your zone. Releasing the bind. For now. Which doesn't mean that the necromancer will be freed. Quite the opposite. Hitting the android. Really just taking away armor. And rebinding the necromancer. Okay. I mean, we could do the easy way and just throw a grenade, right? Or, alternatively, Going over there. I'll just move away. And make sure that the android is not following us. Let's take some captives here. Very nice. Not necessarily our our favorite distance to shoot from that far. So we're getting just a tiny bit closer. There we go. Perfect, that was rather one-sided. Time for another breach. Okay, so no real good options here. Uh, Guaranteed to land the shot. Um, and last unit gets plus one armor. That's a pretty damn good option. I stand corrected. Last unit gets uh, plus three damage. You know what? I mean, in terms of damage, how about putting him through here? It's an additional armor, and he's guaranteed to land his shot. At the same time, we're charging in, target analyzer, and medcare. Okay. Well, hello there. Aggressive trooper and moderately aggressive android. Well, we take the trooper. Well, the hitman is pretty aggressive. Cobra is an option. The turret is an option. The turret is uh, is a problem, but the hitman is a problem as well. Yeah, we got a lot of armor, and that is a close quarter fight. Massive close quarter fight. Take it and run. All right, so let's. Take a look here. We got a couple of things. Can explode that one. Not sure why we could explode that one. There is nothing really standing there. That's a hundred percent kill. We are pulling up Claymore. So he can act. And let's get the commando. Ah, too bad. I was hoping we could damage him.
Shrapnel, out. All right, hitting everyone with a shrapnel. And then sticking the grenade towards the hitman, who's hopefully moving here and then just double exploding. Almost. Good enough. Okay, the only thing we need to do is we need to grab it and get the hell out of here. So that's actually not that difficult. Can kill the commando here. So, shock grenade. Over here. Nice little shutdown. I mean, we can deal with the commando even afterwards, I suppose. He's the last one to act, so that should be easy. Let's move here. Don't want to take any chances. So the Guardian is just denied his action. That's it. Okay, so even if that triggers an attack, even if that triggers an attack, which it will probably, yep, still okay for what I want to do with it. We want to deal with the commando. Or do I want to deal with the Viper? I think I want to deal with the Cobra. Perfect. So they are clustered. Oh, I should have, by the, by the way, grabbed the target. Tossing frag. And time to hit the turret. Okay, let's not stand right next to the explosive. Instead, we're moving up, reloading as a free action, and let's deal with the Cobra. Done deal. That's a hit for the commando. And this might take care of the bomber. Yep, it does. Reinforcements are about to come. So... We should indeed grab whatever we can and move out of here. Releasing the bind.
firing the weapon and killing the commander. Well, I figured we would kill him. It's unfortunate. Alright, we definitely blew up whatever we could. Opening the object. And we simply need to get out of here. Killing plus healing ourselves. Um, given where we need to be, let's move to here and we're switching our position with Axial. I think next, next round everyone can move out. Reinforcements come are coming in. One over here. I think I can't do anything against uh, the bomber, but I can hit the trooper. Or not. Good. Axiom is out of here. Again, moving out. Don't want to hit everyone. Good, we're releasing the bind. Too far. The Unfortunately, we can't just slither here and use our tongue grab. So Shelter will take two shots. Well, or not. Good, everyone's just slightly wounded. We still got enough captured enemies for the extra intel and it was pretty much a straightforward mission. At this point, I feel the B team is strong enough to also take on really difficult missions with ease, with it, which is probably a function of um, enough funds that we do have and just the research level. Great, we got even more acid, uh, acid grenade, cause grounds, hazmat ceiling, and a lot of extra funds. Good shit. So we got a promotion ready, Axiom, 
Oh, that one is good. So here are two options uh, for Axiom. Number one is the fear factor, um, which upgrades the smash to give it a chance to panic the nearby enemies. Uh, together with his aftershock, this was how I was running him beforehand, um, I felt it was okay. Like you could really do a lot with a smash, specifically if if you are trigger uh, if you were triggering his adrenaline uh, from time to time. Uh, so he could be scary, but uh, this time, just looking how well Verge did, I will go for regeneration, uh, which is um, as far as I'm concerned, two to three hit points every single round. And since healing is a tr pretty important factor in this game. I feel it's great. We just got ourselves um, the Masterwork Pistols, so might as well go on with the Masterwork Shotguns next, because we're currently using a lot of shotguns. Which brings us to Masterwork Pistols, 175. Easy purchase, not even, not even sweating it. And we got an option from the scavenger market. Superior Expanded Magazine is great. It's probably one of the things we should consider. Because um, uh, with the shotguns, our, um, our shots are so limited. And it feels if he can just have a larger magazine size. That would pretty much solve a lot of the problems. You know what? We're going for it. We do have enough intel. Let's take a look at their equipment. So, let's take a look. I like the Medipack item. He currently has the reflex grip, so that's a given. He needs to continue doing that, and probably the autoloader is better than the expanded magazine. Um, Trank rounds are okay, but he could also use caustic rounds. One extra damage, um, and can apply the acid burning effect to targets, uh, shreds armor, and damages vulnerable units over multiple time, uh, turns. I like it, that is good. We would get less intel though. So we stick with uh, with his uh, trank rounds for now. Um, might want to take the superior expanded magazine into crucial symmetry. Uh, that means he has even more shots and he will probably never need to reload. Uh, he is sometimes using the frag, frag grenade, but I feel if we were to give him um, the caustic rounds, uh, that would probably uh, make his attack even more worthwhile. We got Trank rounds, a shock grenade. The shock grenade is pretty damn good. I like the target analyzer as well. The 50 crit chance has paid off pretty significantly. And she could get a bit of the expanded magazine, that's fine. Finally, um, Claymore. Haven't gotten anything for his shotgun yet. The plasma grenade is good on him. Plated Vest is also absolutely fine. I am almost reconsidering with his abilities. I mean, this here is like a hazmat vest, but built in. So, yeah, on a multi-encounter mission, I can see that improvised explosives is helpful. If you only have like one encounter, it certainly is not helpful. So this is really, it depends what type of missions you are looking for. But then again, on a one encounter mission, you usually do not, it's, it's usually not really difficult at all. Okay, so we either got Oh, we don't even need to do well we need to decide i think we have enough alarium so we're probably aiming for more credits although 60 alarium is a lot yeah let's go for the credits the epidemic known as the bay has reached city 31 
concerning many of our hybrid residents. NextGen, a local medical research facility, sought to reassure the public. We will find a way to treat this disease, but it will take time to develop a cure. Some hybrid citizens are unimpressed with the lack of progress. The beta affects us. Only us. The gene therapy clinics could solve this. Open them back up. More on this story as it develops. Celio Dash reporting for Channel 37. So here's a fantastic, um, a fantastic option. Either we go for Intel and Alarium. I think the Intel is good. The Alarium, yeah, it's okay. I mean, we could use it. It's not terrible. Or we're going for a superior stock, which I th probably think is the better choice because superior weapon mods are hard to come by and stocks in themselves are good and the superior stock is even better. So what we could do is we could freeze here. We could furthermore reduce uh, the the main mission to or the main uh, area, which is the switch yard, to zero, which uh, means we have the unrest pretty much under control. And then we would be going for a superior stock and a couple of credits which I think is reasonable. So that could be our next mission. Uh, looking at the time, I think we're at the end of today's episode. Uh, as always, I'm leaving with the departing words of thanking you for your viewership and uh, for your regular comments and of course for the likes uh, that you are all going to do right after this mission. Thank you and see you in the next run. Bye bye.